mothers and infants at an immunization clinic in Bamako, Mali. From 2015, their babies will be given an injection against meningitis A as part of their routine childhood vaccines. Menafrivac is the first vaccine made specially for Africa, and since its introduction, thousands of lives have been saved. Menafrivac had a major impact. A disease has completely disappeared in areas where the vaccine was introduced. We have not seen any single case among vaccinated population. Deadly meningitis epidemics have been a regular occurrence throughout the sub-Saharan meningitis belt, not only causing deaths and disabilities, but putting pressure on African economies and health systems. This was the picture at a rural health center in Burkina Faso in 2007. La situation elle est quand même un peu préoccupante. Actuellement, le recapitulatif, je peux dire que on est à environ à 200 cas depuis que ça a commencé avec huit décès. Voilà. Donc, on était là avec peut-être deux trois malades et paf, d'un seul coup, on est là, on peut avoir 60. 50 malades par jour, donc vous voyez vraiment, ça a dépassé vraiment nos capacités. The only vaccines available were polysaccharide vaccines, which were not long-lasting. They were only given in expensive emergency campaigns in response to epidemics. In 2006, clinical trials of the new conjugate Menafrivac began in Mali. Since then, Meningitis Vaccine Project and partners have conducted six more successful studies in Africa and India. The vaccine has been rolled out in 15 meningitis belt countries, and more than 200 million people have received it. Its effect has been stunning. In the countries that have been vaccinated, the disease has pretty much stopped. And this is partly due to, because the vaccine has a very good effect on protecting, building up immunity, uh, and partly because it's getting rid of the bugs in your throat so that you can't spread the meningitis germs to anyone else. The introduction strategy uh, for Menafrivac in African countries was two-pronged. Uh, the first part was really to immunize as many people as possible in the shortest time possible to induce community protection and herd immunity. Uh, and the introduction into the routine programs will ensure the elimination of the disease in the long term. Community leaders in Mali welcome the results of the latest clinical trials. They show the vaccine is safe and effective for use in babies under the age of one. Mali will be one of the first countries to introduce it into its routine EPI. Nous avons d'abord pré-qualifié ce, ce vaccin pour les personnes de 1 à 29 ans. Euh, le PEV de routine couvre les enfants de moins d'un an. Donc il serait bon pour protéger euh, les cohortes naissantes d'introduire ce vaccin dans le PEV de routine pour que chaque enfant qui naît puisse bénéficier de ce vaccin et être protégé et à vie. But to ensure the successful adoption, countries need to be prepared. Countries need to plan for it and train their health workers, inform them and then monitor. So probably they will do this in a phased manner so that everything is taken care of. We need, in addition to all the technical and medical aspects like disease burden, like safety data, like effectiveness data, we need political will. Mothers here, aged 29 and under, have received Menafrivac during a mass vaccination campaign. When their babies are nine months old, they will be given the jab along with other routine injections. <laughs> It is very important for all the African countries to go for this vaccine, introduce it into the routine EPI, because meningitis A 
is just African meningitis. And this vaccine has been developed in Africa by Africans. So we have to use it in Africa by Africans.